afraid to meet death. Yes. Her grave eyes met his inquiringly. He stood looking at her with a kind of desperate irresolution. It must be, he muttered to himself. Yes, it's the only way. Then aloud, he said abruptly. Hello, it's Barbara and welcome to the first day of the Backlist Readathon. So, hello, how are we all doing? I just wanted to kick this vlog off very, very quickly. It's 20 past nine on Monday morning and I need to be on a meeting for half nine. So, I thought I'd come in and kick off the vlog and say, yes, I'm here on weekly vlogging this week. So, really, really excited. I haven't done a weekly vlog for a while. So, I do have some really good books and I do, I have fulfilled all of the prompts, which I'm really excited for. But I don't have time to go over those with you now. I'll probably speak to you at lunchtime. But just to let you know, I've been working from 8 o'clock this morning. logged in very, very early this morning because I have my sprints this evening at 7. And I want to log off a wee bit earlier this afternoon. So I have been listening to the prompt for, let me just get it, the shortest book on my TBR. And it is The Secret Adversary by Agatha Christie. And I've actually been listening to that on audiobook, on script this morning since I've been starting work because I'm just doing a wee bit of admin and stuff. And I'm currently on... Let me see, I'm currently on chapter 7 of 28, so I'm not doing too badly. Um, it's only a 7 hour long audiobook, so I should hopefully get that finished during work today. And then I can say, woo, I finished a book, but we'll see how it goes. Um, depends on how busy and everything I am with work. But as I say, happy first day of the Backlist Readathon. Hopefully you are also taking part. And yeah, I will chat to you probably at lunchtime or maybe before if I'm not too busy. as always with my weekly vlogs i do a subscriber count check-in at the start of the week 767 i am trying so hard to hit 800 which is my next milestone by the end of march i do have a week and a half to go so fingers crossed um but yeah april's gonna be amazing because booktube veda is gonna be all sorts of crazy but yeah we'll see how we go but I'm st I'm really happy at this stage as to as to where I am. So it's all good. Oh, the weather's so much nicer today. I love it when it's not raining. So does Novak. And there's our old sofa waiting to be collected by the council. <laughs> friends so it is lunchtime on Monday and I'm just coming in to give you a quick update I am halfway through The Secret Adversary by Agatha Christie and it's really really good I'm really, really enjoying it I think I have about three and a half hours just left to listen to on that one so I'm keeping that for this afternoon of a couple of meetings here and um, before Aaron gets home for lunch at one o'clock it's now quarter past twelve Um, I just wanted to nip in as well I didn't mention this morning anything about my TBR the Secret Adversary is for the shortest book on my TBR prompt, but before I came into the backlist readathon, I was reading a book from the library um, over the weekend and I haven't finished it yet. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to read for the next hour, so until Aaron gets back from lunch here, and I'm going to keep going with this one. So I want to get it finished. I know it's not on my TBR, but it is a backlist title, so it is fine to include in this vlog. But it is The Murder Game by Rachel Abbott, and I'm really, really enjoying this one. I'm currently... 119 pages in and I started it yesterday and I flew through it um, and hopefully I can sit now and fly through maybe another 100 or so pages of it before he gets home for his lunch but it's about basically it goes back to a year ago to start with and there's a wedding taking place and all of the groom's friends have been invited with their partners and there's a death uh, before the wedding takes place so the wedding doesn't go ahead and then it flip-flops over to present day and the groom has invited everybody that was guests at the wedding back to the house where they were due to get married him and his wife or his partner and he is playing a bit of a game and a bit of um 
things aren't just what they seem and um, they've all been given sort of cards they're all dressed up it's like a murder mystery type thing but it seems like we're going to find out what happened way back a year ago when you know obviously the wedding was supposed to take place and the death obviously happened so this is really really good I'm really really enjoying it and to be honest I didn't want to put it down for a week and then come back to it so I thought I'll quickly see if I can get this finished before I go on my sprints this evening and um, because I'm going to start another book on that one because I will definitely have the Agatha Christie finished by the time I finish work but for now I'm going to wait for Aaron to come home and I'm going to sit for an hour and I'm going to continue on with this one guys okay, so just very quickly I'm really excited because I uploaded my very first video to my new lifestyle channel so it's separate from booktube booktube's obviously going to be my main channel but it's called barb's life after lockdown and I have 44 subscribers already and I'm so excited so I just uploaded a day in the life from Saturday um at the weekend there um just to say hello welcome to the channel and get to know me and stuff so I'll leave a link down to the channel down below and if you fancy going over and seeing a wee bit more of me then yeah click on it and subscribe. Just walking Novak over to Aaron's work. It's about 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Great end of the day. Can't wait to get home, get the feet up and get reading. <laughs> Very excited. So it is currently half 10 and I have been waiting for this Windows update to update for, well, since quarter to nine and it's only on 32%. Could be a long day. Okay friends, so because that update's being done on the computer this morning, um, I'm going to go downstairs and read for a bit. So. I think what I'm going to do is, let me just see, I've got it here sitting. Um, I'm going to continue on with the murder game. So I did do a wee bit of reading last night, but I wasn't really, oh, I was sort of watching YouTube and wasn't really in the mood. So I am currently now on page 230. Um, so I'm just over halfway. I'm on chapter 49. And if I, th I think I'm not doing too bad, I think if I sit now, I'm only on 20 odd percent of that so I would say probably I'll be sitting here at lunchtime waiting on this update to be done I can't do anything on the computer until it's sorted so I think for day two I'm going to sit now finish the murder game and then I know I'm conscious that I haven't showed you my TBR for the back of the readathon so we'll do that whenever I have finished this book and then we will pick a new one to either listen to I'd like to start listening to another one this afternoon another audiobook this afternoon whenever I get back onto the computer because I do have a bit of work to do and I would like to pick another physical book obviously for later on this evening when I'm foresting with Rebecca again so yeah happy day two this is my life with computer updates but what a what a better way and what a better excuse to read for the day Okay, so it's a little bit later on, on Tuesday, um, Novak's just gone to the groomer, she's been away for about half an hour and I just wanted to come in and let you know that I have finished two books for the Backlist Readathon, even though one of them wasn't on my TBR. <laughs> yeah, I finished the murder game um, this morning, so I'm really, really excited. I have rated this one four and a half stars, it was absolutely fantastic, I absolutely loved it. Sorry if you can hear outside, the window's open, it's quite a nice day today. This was so, like, I was so anxious reading it and there was secrets galore and everybody was telling lies and there was so many reveals and so many twists and turns and so many just amazing class thrilling moments and I'm glad I picked this up at the library. The only reason I picked this up was because it looked like it was a good cover and I really enjoyed the synopsis. So first well second book down because i don't know if i updated you yesterday i finished the secret adversary by agatha christie i rated that one five stars so a five and a four and a half already and it's only tuesday um second day in two books down so i'm delighted absolutely delighted um i'm gonna start another audiobook probably now i'm going back to work the windows updates done 
So I've quite a bit of backlog work that I need to catch up on and some training. So I'm going to pick another audiobook. Um, not necessarily one that's on my TBR but a backlist title because I do want to just keep this common theme of backlist for this week obviously for the readathon even if it doesn't fit into the prompts that we we'll have. But yeah, very, very excited. Aaron's not home for lunch today because they're having a barbecue over at his work. Lucky duck. So I'm going to pick an audiobook and probably do maybe an hour's worth of a speak clean around the house. Get everything sort of looking well while Novak's not here and he's not running about in the way. And then I think back to work for me. But yeah, two books down. And it's only two days in. Come on. Come on. anything better than fresh bed sheets honestly so finally up in bed here i was watching a wee episode of piggy blinders there with arn and i'm going to start my next backlist readathon book and i think this one covers um favorite color on the cover so my favorite color is purple and i think also probably recommended prompt two because this was recommended and bought to me gifted to me by my lovely friend Rebecca so thank you Rebecca so I'm gonna get stuck in here we're sitting on a far sprint now me and Rebecca and yeah I'm gonna get stuck into this now and see how we go there are many pages 404 pages my goodness I've just finished a 400 page book but yeah all I need now is a cup of tea all I ever do is drink tea but you know oh well Okay, so I'm just gonna go to bed now. It is around about 11 o'clock on Tuesday and I just wanted to come in and update you and let you know I'm on page 119 of If This Gets Out, which is book three for the readathon. And yeah, it's really, really good. Um, if you don't know what this one is about, it's about Reuben and Zach who are two guys who are in a pop band and they're touring around America and Europe and basically Reuben is gay he wants to come out but his management won't allow him to and Zach is by all accounts straight um, up until the, the point where they kiss and they start to have feelings for each other and I've just as I say I'm on page 119 and Reuben is not really sure what to do now and um, things have sort of um have went not great between the two of them they're not really speaking to each other zach says he needs some time apart and to think things over and yeah it's really good because um you're reading each chapters from each person's point of view and um, both zach and reuben so you're finding out their thoughts and their feelings and how they're coping with things and it's just really really good so yeah i'm really really enjoying it um and i've got a good way through there in the last hour and a half so i'm going to pick this up again in the morning i'm going to hit bed for now novax here with me chilling out <laughs> on the back as usual <laughs> and i'm going to say good night for now and i'll chat to you in the morning Studied with the impact of the wolf's fist. A fist that rice new ended in metallic purple painted nails in dire need of a manicure. A heartbeat later, a female voice barked, half muffled through the steel. Open the Hi, so it's Wednesday afternoon. It's day three of the backlist readathon, and I'm just about to go back to work. It's 
20 to 2 I have a meeting to cover at 2 o'clock for one of my colleagues as he's out with COVID at the moment so that's hopefully fingers crossed he'll be okay I just wanted to come in with a quick reading update um I'm in the house now the rest of the evening um the rest of the day and then the evening so Aaron's way out with his daughter this evening for a bit um so he'll not be back till way later on but reading update is I'm making great headway with if this gets out I'm absolutely loving it I'm over halfway um Goodreads says I'm 51% currently on page 207 of this B.O.T. so if you haven't already read it pick it up um I'm seeing it absolutely everywhere um recently and in the book community so it's a really good sort of male male rom-com um about a boy band and now that we're sort of halfway through we're also getting backstories and stories of the other two members of the boy band John and Angel um aka Reese and yeah we're 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 just learning a lot more um okay it is it's a wee bit sad okay there's wee, wee sad undertones in it um I just want the two of them to be together you know um the two main characters but we'll see what happens but yeah really really enjoying this one and you would have seen this morning I picked up another audiobook again it's not part of the blacklist readathon prompts but it is a backlist title and I've wanted to listen to it for a while 27 hours long but I'm on 2.05 speed so we're all good I'm listening currently to Crescent City House of Earth and Blood which is book number one in Sarah J Mass's series so I'm on chapter 15 and I have 10 hours and 43 minutes left <laughs> but guys I'm absolutely loving this one as well and I'm so glad I picked it up on audible in the three pound sale last week and yeah I'm really I'm loving my reading again I was in such a desperate slump last week really really bad I was literally picking up books I was reading the first chapter and then I just was putting them down I had no interest so to actually be hopefully on three books for three days is amazing because I want to get this finished um, I'll finish work at four, I'm going to take Novak out a big massive walk for an hour, come home for five, get a bite to eat and then I want to sit down and I want to finish this um, before I watch TV or do anything else and then I hope, I hope, I hope once this meeting's over I hope that I can get at least 25 maybe 30 chapters into Crescent City so I'm working out that if I can do 30 chapters a day, it'll only take me to Friday to finish it. So that's what I'm aiming for. So yeah. Um, but as I say, that's not on my backlist TBR. So yeah. It's all good. I want to do seven books in seven days. And then this will be like the most amazing readathon that I've ever done. Do love the backlist readathon. And it's really good for encouraging you to read, you know, titles that you already have and not to buy any. So yeah, I'm really loving it. But there's my reminder now for my meeting in 15 minutes time. So I'm going to leave you here. That was just a reading update for day three. And I will chat to you later. Maybe you want to take Novak out for a quick walk. Okay guys, so work's done for the day. And I'm going to try and film four to five videos. Starting with April TBR. <gasps> Bars Bookland. Okay guys, so it is a good bit later on on Wednesday now. It's around about seven o'clock I'm waiting on Aaron coming in actually it's not it's like nearly eight o'clock I have just finished filming and editing my Bars Bookland TBR which is going on tomorrow and I also was able to film three videos for April's Booktube Veda so I'm really really excited I just have to edit those in the next couple of days but they're stockpiles so it's all good um I'm just sitting here, um, got my blanket on, got my cosy here, and Novak's with me as well. Waiting on Aaron to come back, he's getting curry chip out of the Chinese for us because I can't be bothered cooking. So, yeah, I think what I'm going to do now is see if Rebecca's up for a forest and I'm going to finish If This Gets Out, um, which is my backlist for the readathon um, for one of the prompts. So, I think it's purple on the cover and recommended by a friend. So, that'll be exciting because that'll be three for three, three books for three days when I finish that. So yeah, I just wanted to come in and tell you what I was doing. It's 8 o'clock and I'm tired, but I'm just going to get cosy and read the rest of this wonderful book.
it's Thursday night, it's day four of the Backlist Readathon and it's a good bit later on in the day. I haven't vlogged much today, I've been absolutely flat out with work. It's half four now, um, I'm just about to log off and then me and Aaron have loads of work to do just to get the um, living room and the house set up for the painter and decorators coming again tomorrow so tomorrow's going to be mad but I'm off work so should be able to get a good bit of vlogging done. I just wanted to come in now though and tell you guys that I did finish if this gets out this morning. I sat last night and read for a bit before bed. I actually fell asleep with it in my hands would you believe. Um, I was just literally reading it and reading it and reading it and I must have just fell asleep because I woke up this morning and I still had it beside me. So I am giving this one five massive stars and it is one of the best reads I've had this year. I cannot thank my lovely friend Rebecca enough for gifting this to me. She absolutely loved it when she read it and she absolutely just wanted me to read it so bad and she decided that she needed to give me a copy and I'm telling you what, this this is really, really good. It was so, it was so sad as well. There were sad undertones. Um, you know, it's very hard to explain without going into spoilers, but obviously, as I have already explained, it's male-male romance within a boy band, and they aren't really allowed to come out or tell their fans or anyone in the public what is going on, and they have to sort of secretly have a relationship, and there are other backstories with the other two guys in the band as well, and um, they're obviously going through rough times too. And yeah, it's just a coming of age story of, of people who are being sort of controlled and you know, it's just, oh, it's hard to explain, but pulled at my heartstrings big time and it was really, really, really lovely. It was a lovely story and the ending was fantastic. So Rebecca, thank you so much. This was amazing and it was a definite five stars. So the good news is, well, Look, it is good news because sometimes it's nice to be on your own for a while. Aaron's going out with the boys tonight to the comedy club in Belfast. So they're going out to see a few comedians. Um, so he's going to be out for a few hours this evening. So I'm going to cuddle up on the sofa the way I did last night because he was out last night as well. And I'm just going to read my next book. And I think what I've chosen is, it's on my Kindle actually, it's for the bonus prompt, um, which is to read a book of the month pick. So obviously we don't, we don't get book of the month in Northern Ireland or in the UK. It's only American, Canada only and so I was wondering should I do this should I not and I actually decided that I would so I've been looking at the backlist and the back titles and stuff that have been offered recently and, and over the last couple of years and I've come up with this one Beach Read by Emily Henry now I have this on my Kindle and it's been on my Kindle since it was in the 99p deals and I just thought you know what Rebecca do you want to read it and Rebecca's already started it so she started it while I was working today so yes this is going to be my next read Beach Read and as far as I know, this one is about two writers and they go on a beach trip or they go on a holiday. Um, one's a romance writer and one's another genre. I don't know what genre writer. But they switch and they decide to like write um, stories of each other's genres or I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm really, really butchering this. Here's Novak coming. Um, I'm really butchering this one but this is definitely what I'm going to start reading and yeah, I'm really excited for it. Would, would we like to see Novak for a wee second? Say hi to Novak. Hello Novak. <laughs> Here he is. He's a big boy now, isn't he? <gasps> He's bigger than his mummy. It's Mummy's Day, Mother's Day on Sunday and I keep saying the arm that I want a Mother's Day card because I am a mummy. It's just, I'm a dog mummy. <laughs> Hey, okay, hey, so it is day five of the readathon, backlist readathon. I'm a really, really bad vlogger, guys. Sorry, the window's open as well, but I have not vlogged all day today. I was off work today for the painters to come um, and sort out the living room. Alas, he texted late last night and said that his fan had broke down, so he wouldn't be coming to Monday. Still took the annual leave and decided to go over to my mum's for a while to see my niece, Lucy, and spend a bit of time with them and... Yeah, just chilled out in the house, did a wee bit of cleaning this morning, listened to a wee bit of my audiobook, um, Crescent City, and organised and filmed a few videos. And yeah, I'm really, really, really organised for April's booktube beta. And I know I keep talking about it, but it's like, it's not stressing me out, but it's just, it's in the back of my mind. So it's around about half five now, um, on Friday evening. I've, obviously I wasn't working today, but Aaron's home, he's away to tennis for an hour. 
he's going to come home, going to get a Chinese takeout and we're going to watch a few episodes of Piggy Blinders and just chill out this evening because it's been a busy, busy, busy week. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. But while I'm waiting on him, I have got my Kindle here. I just need to charge it up. Um, I want to finish Beach Read, which was for the prompt of the bonus prompt, which was a book of the month title. So it was Beach Read, me and Rebecca were reading. So I'm about 75-80% into that. So I want to get that finished before Aaron comes home this evening. So I just need to charge this up while I am getting myself organised and yeah I don't really have much more to update you on. I listened to a wee bit of Crescent City today. I'm currently I'm almost halfway through. Um I'm about 48 to 49 percent it says on Goodreads so that's really good. Um I wanted to have it finished today but you know things happen um life happens there's nothing you can do about it so i've got a weekend to listen to that i was texting rebecca like 10 minutes ago saying i want to have the most epic reading weekend it is the weather's supposed to be amazing me and Aaron don't really have any plans to do anything. It's Mother's Day on Sunday. I'll be over obviously seeing my mum and my sister and brother. And we'll probably have a bite to eat in the morning. And then, you know, I'll be coming home and I'll, I haven't really any plans. So there's no reason why I can't get a good bit of reading in. And I still have three three books I think that I want to read which again I know I haven't showed you my TBR but I'm just going to keep it that way because it's a nice surprise <laughs> at the end of the day so I've still got three prompts and three books to read and I think that's completely doable guys because well no actually I don't because Crescent City's for my intimidating read I re I'm reading Beach Read for the bonus prompt. I read Secret Adversary for the shortest book on my TBR and I finished uh, If This Gets Out for Gifted to Me. Well, was it Gifted to Me? No, Recommended to Me and um, Purple on the cover. So guys, I've only got one more book to read for this book, Backlash Readathon. And don't forget, I also read The Murder Game as well by Rachel Abbott, which I brought in from the weekend. So can I possibly read seven books in seven days? Oh my God. Well, there's no point in talking about it and sitting around rambling on here and um, chatting to you. I'm going to get this charged up and I'm going to finish Beat Read and then I'll give you an update as soon as I'm finished. Just uh, charged my Kindle and taking a look through my TBR. Oh, I have some really, really good backlist titles on this and some just really good titles in general. Oh my God. Tell you the uh, Kindle 99p daily offers has a lot to answer for here. How do you even choose what you're going to read? Seriously. Okay friends, hi. So it is a Saturday and it is day six of the backlist readathon. How are we all doing? Sorry I didn't get chatting to you again last night, but I just chilled out, got to take out and watch a wee bit of Piggy Blinders with Arne. And then I came upstairs and had every intention of starting the next book that I'm going to show you, but I fell asleep. So, oh well, <laughs> I was very tired last night. So it's currently 17 degrees here in Northern Ireland and we've been out and about today. Um, it's around about two o'clock, I think, in the afternoon. We just had some lunch there. Um, so I am going to chill out for an hour. We're going to go over to the garden centre actually um, and have a look around the works, which is a bookstore. Um, I want to see if they have any good titles over there for a good price. Um, but for now, I have about an hour, maybe two hours to kill. So I'm going to go into my next read of the readathon. Now, I don't have my list of prompts with me, but I do know that this does fulfil a prompt. So I'll come back in later on when I give you an update as to what I think of it and I'll tell you what prompt it's for. But it is the second in the Spell Slinger series, A Shadow Black by Sebastian de Castell. So me and Rebecca had picked up Spell Slinger, which is the first in the series, I would say probably in January time, I want to say January. And we just haven't got back into the series again. So this was one of the series reads for March that we wanted to get onto the TBR. So we do have it on the TBR. So yeah, I'm going to make a start on this now. Um, I might actually sit out in the garden. Um, my allergies are doing fine. I got my hay fever injection yesterday. Um, I went yesterday afternoon and had that. And I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling absolutely fine and usually I would be sneezing and sniffing and just feeling not well by now but I'm feeling okay so yeah I'm going to make a start in this one and once I have any thoughts on it or get a wee bit in through or maybe even before I go over to the garden centre I will check back in with you but if I don't I'll take you over to the garden centre. Hey 
Kathy's eye. Woohoo! Dinner time. Flowers I bought. <sighs> oh. Okay, friends, so it's a bit colder tonight, so just back up in bed here and it's about half eleven now. Um, we watched Halloween Kills again this evening. I was supposed to be reading and Arm was like, do you just want to watch it? So I was like, yeah, no problem. So our barbecue was amazing. I have to say it was very good. So I'm going to sit for maybe an hour. So I'm not overly, well, I'm tired, but I'm not overly tired. So I'm going to sit for another hour and continue on with this one. I got the page, what page did I get to? 150. And that is chapter, let me just check the chapter she was on this before, come on. It's chapter 25, the Academy. So yeah, it's good. Um, it pretty much picked off, uh, picked up exactly where it left off at the end of Spellslinger. And yeah, we're still following the main character. And yeah, it's really, really good. Um, Kellen, yeah, I can remember his name even though I've been reading about him most of the day. Um, so yeah, it's 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 just as good. I mean, if not better than than Spellslinger. So it's quite a hefty series to be reading. But hopefully, if I can get maybe another hundred pages of this done. I will, well, my plan is I have one more book to read to do my seven books in seven days. So I want to read Shadow Kiss, which is the third in the Vampire Academy series, which needs to be read in March so that we can go on to the fourth then in April. And if I can get Shadow Black, well, hopefully a dent in this, um, done this evening before bed, then I want to go on tomorrow and hopefully read the whole of Shadow Kiss um, tomorrow because it's a YA fantasy vampire you know, it's still easy to read. So hopefully I can get that read tomorrow when I get back from my mum's um, after we go to see her for Mother's Day. But yeah, um, it felt like a really long day today, but it's been a really nice day. We've done loads and, you know, it was nice to just have the barbecue, the three of us, me, Arne and Novak, and sit and have a cup of tea and some buns. And then we went to, over to the garden centre to have a look round and I got my mum Mother's Day card and ugh, we just we, we packed in a lot today and it just felt like a really long day but it was really good so it's nice still to be Sunday tomorrow and still off <laughs> um, so yeah it's been a nice day but cannot believe tomorrow's the last day of the Backless Readathon but for now I am rambling and I need to get back to reading this book and yeah I'll probably say good night now and I will check in and give you a reading update in the morning before I go over to my mum's. Alright guys, so it is Sunday now, that's me just back into the house. It's around about one o'clock I think on Sunday but I didn't get to update the vlog last night because we well, went to bed and I just didn't have a chance to come back on and chat to you but I finished Shadow Black yesterday and I am very very happy. So this is another one down for the Backlist Readathon. Um, I don't really have a lot planned now uh, for the rest of the day so I think I was saying to you that I was going to pick up Shadow Kiss which is the third in the Vampire series, Vampire Academy series. So I wanted to get this finished as, as well yesterday if I could because I'm on, I'm literally on six books for seven days so I want to get Shadow Kiss finished. I don't think I'm going to get it finished although it is pretty quick reading so fingers crossed I might be able to stretch it out along the rest of the day but we'll see what happens but I'm going to give this one four stars it was really really good it was a really good sequel to Spellslinger and we're going to continue on me and Rebecca with the third in the series next month in April so that's on the TBR already and I'm really excited I can't wait to get back into that world again this is really easy reading and it's a really good story and I'm just really enjoying following our main character and everything that goes on in, in his world really and with his family so another one down six books down I can't wait to do my wrap up later on because this is going to be so cool so it is really really nice day again today um, Aaron's going to be doing pizzas this afternoon for us 
So I'll probably sit out in the garden uh, for the rest of the day and play about with Novak and do a few wee bits and bobs and yeah, around the house. But shadow kiss it is and hopefully, fingers crossed, I get it finished and that'll be seven books in seven days. But we'll see what we'll see what happens and we'll see how we go. But I'm just back over from mum's house. We were over for Mother's Day, so um, all the family were there and Lucy and we all love to see Lucy as much as we can, so that was good. I got a Mother's Day card from Aaron from Novak and a lovely cockapoo mug and a um, Terry's chocolate orange egg. So I'm all biz because obviously I'm a dog mummy, so you know, I need to have a card as well. But yes, um, it's just gonna be a lovely day today and I cannot believe this is the last day of the Backlash Readathon, but... I think, you know, this is probably my most favourite readathon of the year. I haven't decided yet. Maybe Romance Romanceathon and Backlist Readathon are two of my favourites. Um, so I've really, really enjoyed this week, but it's not over yet. So I'm going to start rambling now. I'm going to go on and I will chat to you when I have something to tell you about the next book that I'm reading. In case anybody's interested, <laughs> this is my April TBR. Um, yeah check back at the end of April and I'll let you know how many of them I've read. <laughs> okay guys, so it is Sunday evening and I'm just coming in to wrap up this backlist, backlist readathon vlog and I tell you what, I have had an eventful week. I have read so many good books and I have fulfilled all of the prompts of the backlist readathon and I am just absolutely delighted with how I've done and it's just been such a wonderful week. Um, it's been a busy week and next week's going to be even busier but that's for another future vlog. But yeah, it's just been wonderful. I've just had a really good time. Me and Rebecca have been reading, um, buddy reading and chatting to each other and talking about all the books we've been reading and it's just been amazing. So yeah, I just, I just wanted to say first of all I've really, really enjoyed this week. I haven't enjoyed vlogging for a while, just recently, and this has really renewed my love for vlogging and just really taught me the reason why I love doing it, so I'm really, really happy. But what I want to do now is just a quick wrap up and then we will finish this vlog, but let's go over what I did read and what the star ratings are. Alright guys, so first of all I started with The Secret Adversary by Agatha Christie which was the prompt of the shortest book on my TBR. I listened to this on audiobook at the very start of the week and I gave it five stars. It was fantastic. I don't know about anyone else but Agatha Christie just writes the most amazing murder mysteries and they're just, audio. her audiobooks are very, very good. Um, I do enjoy listening to a lot of the Agatha Christie and Poirot Miss Marples on audio so it's definitely the way to go for those murder mysteries and yeah five stars absolutely love this one hadn't a clue who the killer was tried my utmost hardest to work it out as I was listening but alas no I was literally so far off it wasn't even funny so yeah that was five stars which is class and what a way to start off the readathon for a start then obviously as you know I brought in a backlist title from last week um, which I wanted to finish off. I got 119 pages into it. It was The Murder Game by Rachel Abbott. It's a library book um, and I just really really enjoyed it uh, last weekend and I didn't want to put it down for a week whilst I was doing the backlist readathon and I just sort of figured that because it was a backlist title there would be no reason why I couldn't read it in this vlog. So my game my rules and I did. I also gave this one five stars. This storyline and this plot was amazing. It was so so well written it was so good this was about a group of people who had attended a wedding of their friend from school a year before and someone had been murdered and then it jumps forward to a year later where they've been brought back to the scene of the wedding and they're basically playing out uh, the murder game which was what happened a year ago to try and find out who it was that murdered this person and there's so many secrets and lies and all that good stuff and it was just amazing i didn't know what was going on from one chapter to the next but short snappy chapters as well unreliable narrators <coughs> excuse me everyone had a lie to tell and it was just absolutely fantastic another five star two five stars so then i went on to read 
yes another one where is it if this gets out by Sophie Gonzalez and Kiel Dietrich and again I gave this one five stars that's three five stars in a week it's just ridiculous these books that I'm reading were so so good yeah absolutely love this one and uh, my friend Rebecca gifted this to me this was about a boy band and the, the, there's two gay uh, well one's get one's gay and one's bi and basically they're being controlled by their management they're not allowed to come out they're not allowed to tell their fans they're not allowed to you know they have to have a secret sort of um, relationship and the other two members of the pop band are also going through quite um you know hard hardships as well and they're not allowed to really talk out about it or anything and it's just the coming of age and story behind the boy band and everything that they are put up against and fame and all that good stuff so this was amazing if you haven't read this one please pick this up it was really really good i really really enjoyed it I also read Beach Read by Emily Henry, which I'll just picture here. And this was a lovely change of pace. This was absolutely fantastic. I really enjoyed it. Um, I gave this one four stars. It was just a good change of pace, as I say, in between some pretty intense, pretty thrilling and pretty hard books to read. So I really, really enjoyed this one. This is about two authors who go on a beach trip and they're both sort of having a bit of writer's block and they swap round sort of writing each other's stories and it's the sort of romance that that, that takes place and you know oh it was just really really good I really enjoyed it. it was so good it was so good to read it was so wholesome and so heartwarming and I just really enjoyed it so four stars for that one I also am in the middle of almost finished Crescent City by Sarah J Mass and again absolutely loving that I'm listening to it on audiobook I've only about two and a half hours left so I'm going to call that a triumph as well I have not listened to or read this first in the series and Rebecca urged me to listen to it whenever I needed to pick up another audiobook so I'm using that one for the prompt of an intimidating read um, just to go over this one uh, this was purple on the cover which is my favourite colour and also recommended to me which was by Rebecca obviously she gifted it to me then I also finished and re I read and finished yesterday which was Saturday Shadow Black by Sebastian de Castell and yeah this one has been the tempting me sort of prompt and this is the second in the Spellslinger series. I gave this four and a half stars. Absolutely love this one as well. My reading this week has just been up there. I was in such a bad slump uh, the week before, a couple of weeks before, and no matter what I picked up, I just couldn't, I couldn't get past the first chapter. So this week has just literally been the best. Um, so yeah, finished this one as well. And lastly, I did finish Shadow Kiss today. Um, it's quite late on in the evening, although you couldn't tell because I've got the lights on. But I did finish Shadow Kiss, which is the Vampire Academy number three. And this is just really, really easy to read. It's a YA vampire story, Vampire Academy. Um, everybody sort of knows what Vampire Academy is by now, hopefully. And yeah, yeah, it was just it was great to go back into that world and follow on from the first and second book so really enjoyed that one give it four stars so literally it has been such a good reading week I finished six books and I'm almost finished the seventh in seven days this never happens to me this is just amazing and yeah I've just had such a wonderful time with this with this readathon so if you took part in the readathon please let me know uh, what your ratings and what you read down below in the comments if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and if you want to stick around for more bookish content alongside April Veda where I'm going to be uploading 30 videos in 30 days then please stick around and hit that subscribe button and show me all the love and support that you have but on that note I'm going to go now I have to go to bed I'm working in the morning and yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one